Hello everyone, in this lecture we are going to discuss method overriding and virtual base class. So first of all let us discuss what is method overriding. So if base class and derived class have member functions with same name and arguments then method is said to be overridden and it is called function overriding or method overriding in C++. We already discussed the concept of function overloading in that we are supposed to write same function name but with different argument inside any class or a program but in case of inheritance base class and derived class is using same method name and arguments then it is called method overriding and its another name is function overriding so here we are having class abc and it is deriving class xyz now void display method is written in abc and xyz class so if i create object x of class xyz and if i write x dot display here class abc is deriving class xyz that's why all public members will convert it to public members of xyz so it will be ultimately two display method inside xyz and compiler may confuse to which method to call so here I am creating object x and if I write x dot display by default it will call the display method of class itself and if I want to access display method of base class then I need to mention class name and scope resolution operator. So this is very similar like function overloading inside that we are supposed to use same function name in any interview of c++ there will be a definite question regarding function overloading and function overriding overloading is writing same function name inside a program or a class and in method overriding we are supposed to use same function name in inheritance concept next is virtual base class here i am having one class a with member a class B and class C that is derived from class A and class D is derived from class C. So here class D will be having properties from B and A and class D will be having properties from C and A. So properties of A will go through D via B and C as well. So it will create some confusion that multiple copies of member A will be inherited to the B. Suppose you are having one method display a so display a will be inherited to d b and c and here d is deriving class b and c so that method display a will automatically derive in d virtual base class we can prevent multiple copies of class by declaring the base class as virtual when it is being inherited let us understand this concept with example program here i am having class a and public member i class b public member j class a is deriving class b class a is deriving class c and class d is derived by public b and public c and all class have some public member so here i am creating object of class d that is object 1 if i write object 1 dot j equals to 10 it will be allowed because j is member of class b and it is deriving class d over here so it will become public for class d same way if i write obj1 dot k equals to 20 then it will be allowed because k is the public member of class c and it is deriving class d over here so that public member will be public to the class d as well now if i write obj1 dot i equals to 30 i is also accessible because d is derived from b and c and b and c is derived from class a here you can see in this example d is derived from class b and c and these both are derived from a so the properties of a will be inherited to the d two times so if i execute this it will throw error because here member i is ambiguous it is reflecting twice due to hierarchical inheritance so to solve this issue i just need to write here virtual keyword 
so it will become virtual to class d so if i write object one dot sum equals to addition of object one dot i object one dot j and object one dot k and i'm displaying it let us execute this program it will be displaying total 60. so this ambiguity can be resolved using virtual base class i can write this virtual keyword after access mode as well this is also allowed in c plus plus syntax so if you write virtual keyword before the access mode or after access mode it is allowed so this is the way how method overriding and virtual base class works thank you